Hi everybody, it's Danny from the Mixmaster Wyatt Academy and I just wanted to thank everybody for again all the input and uh, checking out the videos and the cool comments. Um, I wanted to share here a project from a student of mine, Decode, who made his way up into the Beatport techno charts uh, this winter and this is a mastering session from the, his uh, Shadow People remix. Um, and if we look at the mastering chain here, it's relatively simple. We have a tape compressor. We have our clean uh, Oxford saturator. Our musical compressor here with the SSL. A little bit of de-essing. And then we're using the uh, Ozone 5 here mastering suite. But I wanted to take a look here at the ATR-102. Now this is a tape compressor, so it gives us tape compression, which really in its essence is multiband compression. It compresses the lows and the mids and the highs a little bit differently, and it makes it very, very musical. So it's a musical compressor to the extent that it doesn't have an attack and a release and you know ratio, stuff like that. Uh, but it does compression and it does saturation. And it does it in an incredibly musical way. And it was a big part, I think, of, uh, at least Thomas said, of making this sound an incredibly analog sound. So here are the settings, the Magic ATR-102 settings. Uh, Transformerless is the way I like to run this. You can go Transformer on or off. Um, sometimes Transformers add a fatness to the sound, and Transformerless tends to be very, very clean. Uh, in this instance, we had enough fatness. We didn't want more global fatness, so we went for a little bit more of a clean sound. Uh, you want to turn the noise off unless you want it to be retro. That's tape hiss. So we like it off. And then the uh, you want to run this with the one-inch tape head. That's the big sound. Uh, 456 is classic. We're at a plus six calibration. And we're running at 15 inches per second. And this is how you can change it from the cool spinning reels to uh, get under the hood here. And really the only control once you have it set up that way is how hard you're hitting the tape. And you do that with the record knob head here. And this is sort of your threshold or drive, if you will. And mastered engineers traditionally have driven tape machines very, very hard right up until... Uh, distortion and then you back it off a little bit so uh, I'll show you where we're at now and you can a B the sound with this on and with it off So you see it opens up the high end, it kind of fattens up the low end, but in a very clear way. And you can get different sounds out of it by just pushing the record head a little bit harder, a little less hard. Anyway, there you go. Very, very easy to use once you get the right settings. And then again, just do the record head to taste. If it starts to get a little too crunchy, back it off a little bit. But part of this board is being aggressive. So don't be scared to take it right to the edge of distortion and take two steps back. Um, well, I also just wanted to let everyone know that there is a webinar series starting August 16th. And it's a package really incorporating all the feedback that I've gotten from thousands of email responses over the last several weeks. 
all kinds of topics of really how to get the big sound. So go to the website, uh, www.mixmasterwyatt.com, and go ahead and leave your email address. You'll also see information there. Uh, and I hope to see you at the webinars. And let's keep the dialogue going. I uh, hope you enjoy this. Thanks for watching.